Hi, hello everyone, I'm your lovely host, Innocent, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. How y'all doing on this lovely Friday afternoon? Doing pretty good? I hope you are. I have a lot of energy for some reason, so let's go. Well, good job. Thanks, Hint. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today. So if everyone could come and sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Ugh. Do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. It, I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Oh, don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few. We won't need much more than a few donations, decorations. <laughs> I still can't read, but at least I'm happy. <laughs> Sayori has been working on posters, and I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that that's great and all, but that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Performing? <laughs> Monica? Yeah, we're going to have a poetry performance. Each of us, each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. Sayori's putting it all, Sayori's putting it all on the poster in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> Sayori, who's been coloring a poster, holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't... You didn't already start putting these posters up, did you? Huh? Well, I did. Do you really think it's a bad idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know. There is no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I... I... I, I agree with Natsuki. I could never in my life do something like that. Imagining Yuri. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys! Uh, no, Sayori. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago. It's a lot of that to ask of them to recite their poems out loud for a whole room of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> but... I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah! It's about expressing your feelings, being intimate with yourself, finding new horizons, and having fun! That's right. And it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with the others? To inspire them to find the same feeling that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. I know we all do. And if it all takes us standing in front of a room for two minutes and reciting a poem, somebody really wants to play smite. And then I know you can all do it. Hmm. <sighs> Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Sayori looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a bit. Well, maybe, but... <laughs> Looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. <laughs> hmm. Okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get over with it. All right! <sighs> Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Mm. Yuri dejectedly, de dejectedly l -l 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 glances around at everyone else's expectant faces. <sighs> I, I guess I don't really have a choice. <laughs> That's everyone! You're the best, Yuri! This club is seriously going to be the death of me. <laughs> oh, gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, 
let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reading them in front of each other. No, 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 no way! Monica, this is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect it to do it in front of strangers? Oh no. Don't worry! I'll start off to help everyone feel a little bit more comfortable. Can I go next? <laughs> of course! Now let's see. Monica flips through her notebook to, a spe to the specific poem she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. <coughs> Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before, or is she simply a natural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sayori looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't quite understand. Finally, Monica finishes the reset, 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 reset the yes. <laughs> Whew, my mouth does not want to work in words that I definitely know that I can pronounce. <laughs> it's wonderful. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. That oh, was so good, Monica! <laughs> Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? Uh, I'll, I'll go next. Ah, Yuri's all fired up all of a sudden. Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quiet, quickly over to the podium. This poem is called... Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri. It, it, it's called... After a Minch of a Crimson Eye. Yuri, Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused... <laughs> refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting so much effort? When Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happened when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into the slap... The, a slap of sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. <laughs> I don't know why there's a slap in there, but there is now. <laughs> the poem is full of twists and turns, and its, and its structure that she insinuates with perfect timing. Ah, <sighs> words! Why are they the death of me? Reading things? Death of me. <laughs> Jesus. This must be a rare glimpse into the whir whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly, she finishes. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around her, as if she's bewildered e even herself. I... It's up to me to save the situation. I'm the first to start applauding. Everyone joins me afterwards, and we all give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back to her seat. Yuri, that was really good! Thank you for sharing. <laughs> Looks like Yuri is down for the count. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm next then. Sayori hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Sayori. It's a lot harder than I thought. How do you guys do it up so easily? Uh. Try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself, like in front of a mirror or in your own head. It's your poem, so we'll come up the best that way. I see, I see. Okay, then. Sayori begins her poem. Somehow it feels like the soft voice she made it... Her soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sayori is. It's sincere and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sayori's voice somewhat gives it a whole new meaning. I slurred my words there, but I'm not going back. <laughs> Maybe this is what Sayori meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone... Someone I thought I knew and through and through. Blah, blah, blah. But la la. <laughs> Sayori finishes and we applaud. I did it! Good job, Sayori. <laughs> Even Innocent liked it. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? 
It came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Huh? I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen your poem- I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's- oh well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do it in front of everyone. <laughs> I called it. The next time I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know. Okay! Now, who's next? Natsuki? Hmm. Don't make me go before Innocent. It's not that I can compare to you guys anyway. May as well let Innocent lower everybody's standards a little bit before I have to do it. Natsuki! It's fine, it's fine. I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection from what to read. I'll just have to go what I wrote today. I stand up and step in front of the podium. Oh god, no, that was the one I wrote with Natsuki in mind. <laughs> Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish it, I receive applause anyway. Sorry, I'm not really good as everyone else. <laughs> Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that'll improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. Alright then. <laughs> ah! Oh, my nose is running! I better go catch it. <laughs> I'm sorry. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Natsuki be begrudgedly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem is called... It's called... Why are you all looking at me? Because you're presenting. Huh. Anyway, the poem is called Jump. Natsuki takes a breath. When she starts resetting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. Well, she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhyme and a ry has rhythm and rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down, and it's giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes, and everyone applauds. She huffs back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You, you better not make me do that again. Oh well. Do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I can put on whatever face I want for people. No, that's just my friends. It's just embarrassing. <laughs> that's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case, you won't have much to worry about for, for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have the an idea of what's it like. What's it like? What's it like? What? 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 The fuck was that? Whatever that was, stop. Please and thank you. Anyway, from the top, <laughs> it might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what's it like. What? What it's like now? Why is that little part so far terrible for me? Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez. I should probably find some, th some other poem to recite instead. Oh, that's fine too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. It makes me really happy. Uh, yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. Today? <laughs> Apparently, I need to swallow right there. I know that the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. <laughs> I can't wait. I, I can do this. I can do this. All right. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. It's for the sake of the club. 
and an impressing Monica. Then I'll have to do my best. I'm ready to go. Oh, wrong person. <laughs> she popped up. I wanted. I was going. I was gonna. <laughs> ready to go, Sayori? Yep. Oh, look at you two. Always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make it such a big deal out of this. It must be a little nice, though. Well, uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Innocent. You don't have to say it. Oh, whatever. Let's go already. I walk home with Sayori once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sayori is being a little quieter than usual on our way home. Hey, Sayori. Sorry, I was spacing out. No wonder. Um, I was uh, thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to... I, I mean... Sorry fumbles with her words. So, let's just say that one day Natsuki asked to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> well... Um... Why don't we just walk home all together? What? Why not? I mean, apparently... I mean... I guess I would still walk home with Sayori because we basically live next to each other. So I kind of have to anyway. <laughs> you know? But... Yeah. Sayori. You really think I would ditch you for Natsuki? Huh? But, but... She's so cute and fun to be around. Jeez. I already see her in the club every day. Besides, you always seem to really like going home together. It wouldn't just ruin that for you. You're so silly, innocent. You think about me too much sometimes. Natsuki would deserve it if she... Or, would deserve it if she wanted it, so... Sayori, I already made up my mind. I really can't figure you out sometimes. Sorry. Besides, what's the point in speculating something that's never going to happen? Huh? The conversation trails off. It's kind of a weird thing for Sayori to care so much about, but I wanted to respect her and keep her happy too. Then again, the festival's only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time. Uh, probably death and destruction, and from thumbnails, Monica destroying everything, apparently. Uh, let's just... <laughs> That's one way to do it, right? Just go. <laughs> oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked in, too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano? Well, maybe not determination. <laughs> but I guess passion. Remember that this club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. All you. And I'm super happy that you're willing to help out for the festival too. Uh, I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. Huh? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat and all kinds of delicious food! You sound a bit like Sayori all of, all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on! Are you saying that you don't like squid? You, of all people? Huh? I didn't say I didn't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name. Mon Ika. Ika means squid in Japanese. <laughs> huh? Oh, that's not how you say my name at all. Monica. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. It does to me. <laughs> Huh? Uh, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. 
Your reactions aren't fun as Yuri's or Sayori's anyway. Excuse me. Where is Sayori anyway? No, there you are. Sayori's sitting at the desk in the corner of her room looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Huh? You're spacing out again. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Don't make me. You can go and talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything alright? Uh, uh, of course! Well, why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sayori shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, alright. If you say so. I wearily glance at Sayori before turning back towards everyone else. But the conversation is already dispersed, with everyone going back to their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been pre preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who's shuffling through some papers at her desk. Oh, Innocent, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but... Have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into this a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. My headset is dying. Hold on. Well, that's not that's not the right cord. Uh, that's a that's a that's my tablet. <laughs> Oops, Daisy. Let's try to do this again. My headset is going to cut out, and I'm not going to have any sound for a moment. So, and. Uh, Three, two, one, I will not have sound. Awesome, no sound. Go me, put my headset back on, turn the power back on. Alright, anyway, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sayari, who's idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down on her desk. Maybe there's something on her mind? But I'm not- but I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Innocent. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really like this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask you if you knew anything, so I'll, I'll drop it now. Oh, no, no! No, no, no. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know. Maybe I'll try talking with her myself. Uh, are you sure about that? She seems like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Well, maybe she's just having a hard time bringing it up with a person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe a thing on her mind is you, Innocent. Me. How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but... Sarah talks about you more than anything else, you know? Huh? She's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. It's like a little extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sarah was always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it's always been. <laughs> You're so funny, innocent. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you. <laughs> I said too much. I'm sorry. What do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it from now on. Uh. Alright. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget it about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get those words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her. But she's keeping her voice so quiet I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else, but that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh on me, weigh, weigh me down so much? Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Hey you. Huh? 
I look up to see Natsuki next to me. Are you just gonna sit there and keep staring at nothing? There isn't much time, so... Ah, sorry. I didn't mean to make you worry or anything. It's not that I'm, like, worried. I was just... Natsuki glances down at her side. She's holding a volume of manga in her hand. Ha hand? In her hand. It's a manga in her hand. <laughs> oh, that's right. Something just came up for a minute, but we can get started now. I won't make you wait any longer. Jeez. Now you're making me feel like a jerk. If something is bothering you, then you can just tell me to leave you alone and I will. I mean, assuming you didn't feel like talking about it or anything. She's practically mumbling that last part. Nah, I'm probably making it seem like a bigger de deal than it is. I've just been thinking about Sayori, that's all. S Sayori! Not you, Junkrat, Sayori! Thinking about her? Yeah, she seems pretty down today. But she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh, Natsuki exhales. <sighs> well, first of all, you should really work on your own f your phrasing. But anyway, you're her best friend, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Then in that case, I think you should trust her a little more. If she needed you, then she'd be the fir you'd be the first person she would go to, right? Well, I guess that's true. I mean, some people just have those days. You can't avo always avoid it. If anything, she probably doesn't want you to worry about it because it's not important. Yeah, that's kind of what she said to me. Maybe it's not right for me to go against her wishes. Exactly. If she needs you to worry about her, it'll then it'll be more obvious. Yeah. I should have thought it that way from the start. Natsuki fiddles with the book she's holding in her hand. She... She really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Uh... Don't get the wrong idea or anything. You've just been friends for a long time. It's normal to be worried about your friends. I mean, you were worried about me, so... It was not! Jeez, if you're fine, then let's hurry and get started already. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, everyone! After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Why don't we all share our poems now? Before I know it, everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems, and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica, and she smiles at me. I wonder what, she's talk what she talked about with Sayori. I need a drink. Hold on! Let's go reverse order this time. Monica, you're first. Hi, Innocent. Have you thought about what you wanted to submit to perform at the festival? Oh, well. Being this club is one thing, but performing in a bunch of people... I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see it. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Uh, sure. I'll let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised if you had that sort of things in common. Oh, uh, well. We may be good friends, but Sayori and I are really different. Hmm. <sighs> well, that might be the case. But maybe there's also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. There's ways she talks about you. That <laughs> makes it sound like you two are really care about each other's well-being. Even if you showed in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm. You sure you're not reading into it too much? <laughs> I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Sayori's writing has a kind and gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions, like happiness and sadness. Who knew someone that happy could enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid of experimenting a little bit either. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Uh, alright. The lady who knows everything. An old tell, tales of a lady who wanders earth, the lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady, who's found every answer, all meaning, all purpose. And all of that ever sought, and I am, and here I am, 
a feather, lost adrift in the sky, victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search, I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is that all that remains, the last dim of star glimmering in the twilight sky. Until one day, the wind ceases to blow, I fall, and I fall, and fall, and fall even more, gentle as a feather, a dry quill, expressionless. But a hand catches me between a thumb and a forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look her in the eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat and I pick up a gust of wind. Deep? Okay. That was something. <laughs> you know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are sort of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. <laughs> Sorry, my ear was giving me an itch. Still itching. I never really put much thought into it. And anyway, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we all had the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose the meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you'd know better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? Uh, yeah, that! Monica's trying to break the fourth wall yet again? To us in this one episode! Dang! Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? Yes. It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way, and will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Th thanks, Monica. Let's go to Eerie next. Well done, Innocent. You've definitely improved your writing over the course of these few days. Has my advice been helpful to you? Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm glad. Sharing her writing like this? It's a lot more fun and rewarding than I anticipated. I need to remember to thank Monica. I think we all felt a little awkward at first. But now it seems like everyone is enjoying sharing their writing and seeing what others think. Well, I guess I can't disagree. Pardon me. I kept that one in. Because I knew it was going to be loud. I was afraid this whole thing would be a chore. But it's a great way for me to spend some personal time with all the girls in this club. Ayy. But it's been fun getting to know everyone in their writing. And I guess doing some writing myself. Well, have you learned anything about yourself, Innocent? Huh? Well... You know how I like to say that writing is a very personal way to get in touch with yourself. In the end, it doesn't matter if you're a good writer or a bad writer. And even my opinions are just opinions, you know? As always, I believe it's most important. Most important is exploring and discovering yourself. That's comforting. I'm kind of afraid of disappointing you in some way or another. Huh? Why me? Well, you're always so so sophisticated with your writing and have the most advice to share. Is that so? <sighs> Yuri thinks for a good minute. That must be terrible. Huh? For me to have become someone whose opinion is fearsome. How unlikable of me. Yuri. 
It's not as bad as you're making it sound in your head. It just means that I respect your opinion. Uh, I see. I'm sorry that I overthink and come to these sorts of conclusions. I'm just a little too used to it. Overthinking? Being disliked. Yuri. What? What am I saying? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. Let's move on. Alright. Do you want to share your poem now? Okay. Here. Beach. A marvel millions of years in the making, where the womb of the earth castically meets the sin- the surface. <sighs> Under a clean blue sky, an exposure of bliss, but beneath grey rolling clouds an endless enigma- Enigma. I can only say that in like the nugget voice of him nugget. Anyway, <laughs> the easiest world to get lost in is one where everything can be found. One can only build a sandcastle where the sand is wet, but where the sand is wet, the tide comes. Will it gently lick at you? You can make a sandcastle where it's not wet, you just have to have wet sand, goddammit! Do you not know how to make sandcastles? I don't even live near an ocean and I know that. I've made sandcastles. Fuck you. What? <laughs> Will it gently lick at your foundations until you give in, or will it suddenly wave and send you crashing down in the blink of an eye? Either way, the outcome is the same. Yet, we still build sandcastles because you don't need to build near the water, goddammit! I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles, where, the toes, where my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic. The breeze is gentle yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line, tempted by the foamy tendrils. Turn back, and I abandon my peace to erode the sh my peace to erode at the shore. Drift forward, and I return to the earth forevermore. Um, I'm aware that the beach is kind of an inane thing to write about, but I did my best to make a metaphorical approach to it. You say that like you didn't even want to write about it. Oh, you haven't heard? After yesterday, Natsuki and I, well... I was amusing that we wrote about something similar in such different ways. So Natsuki wanted us to write about the same topic as each other again. I suppose to better compare the differences in our writing styles or thought processes? Anyway, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she would want to do something like that. She probably just wanted to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. I just went with her request. But, well, I suppose it's not bad to write about something simple on, the, on occasion. It can be refreshing, you know? It's good for me to call my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. <clears throat> Time for Natsuki! This one's alright. Alright. Well, yeah. It doesn't blow me away. But there's nothing really I hate about it. It's just not really my style. I mean, that's fine. Come to think of it, it kind of reminds me of Sayori's poem from yesterday. Uh, you think so? Yeah, well, I guess you've been friends with her for so long, you might be on the same wavelength. <laughs> but you never really struck me as her type. Sayori has a type all of a sudden? Well, I don't know, but honestly, how can someone so, uh, fluffy spend so much time with someone like you? It's like she's dragging you around a dead weight. Uh, that was a little unnecessary. But think of it this way. If it weren't for me, she probably would be uh, flying away, just like letting go of a balloon. You could say that we take care of each other in our own way. Whatever it is, I don't get it. Oh, yeah, I guess I'm supposed to show you my poem. Here. I'll be your beach. Your mind is so full of troubles and fears they dim that diminish your wonder over the years. But today I have a special place. A beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight. A sea that sparkles with a brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you, da that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap. In a way, thought had left you. In a way, you thought I had left you long ago. 
Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand, bathe in the sunbeams, and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea, and let me see you shine. Let's leave the memories in a footprint trail, set you free in my windy sail, and remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap, in a way thought had left you long ago. But if you let me be by your side, you, your own beach, your own escape, you will learn to love yourself again. Yeah, I felt like if I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice message for once. Besides, the beach is awesome! Kinda hard to write about anything negative about the beach. Well, your stick on it was more solemn. Well, that's... Jeez, but I'm not said anything bad about mine. After all, she was the one who wanted us to write about the same topic. Ugh, can't really see her doing that too. Making us write about a simple topic than trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical too. But there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was good practice. Alright, time for Sayori. Mmm, that's nice, I guess. Oh, come on, I can already tell you don't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote it for someone else, didn't you? Probably, Yuri. Eh? Huh? I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Maybe. That's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. You're making new friends just like I was hoping. That makes me really happy. And you're happy too, right? In this club? Well, of course I am. Good! That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Innocent. Sorry. Is there something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Alright. Just tell me if you need anything. I will. Uh, don't worry about me, okay? You can go and play with everyone else now. If you insist. Yay! I'm gonna go home a bit early today. Sorry? Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow! Before I can say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom humming to herself. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out... Hold on a second! Is it just me or did you say something strange just now? Huh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C catchphrase I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Huh? <laughs> Stagnating. Okay, that's... I, I don't know why, but that just looked really weird to me anyway. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing that's different is Sayori isn't here. Uh, it seems you're right. <sighs> Sayori is always helping me lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone is bounce is thrown off when she's not around. What the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she just wanted to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on! Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. <laughs> no, 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 no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second... She's kind of been avoiding me all day, so I didn't want to force it. Aww. That curious expression coming from Yuri of all people. But calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, uh, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations, so let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. Oh, that's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them in different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? 
Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sayra will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri... Yuri, you can... Uh, um... Hmm? Uh, guys... Can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I... I'm useless. No, 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 no! That's not it at all! You're the most talented person here, you know! N now Natsuki's spouting too? Jeez, uh, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sarah enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder when she's not around. Uh, that may be the case. But if I can also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri! You have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that, I... I love atmosphere. Yuri's expression suddenly changes and she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you innocent. The only one who is truly useless. Uh, thank you. Thank you all. I'll go home now. <laughs> Don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. It would be really appreciative of that. Ah, uh, that's... <laughs> is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give you. It's not like Monica's gonna give, give me a choice and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle baking on your own. Innocent may not be... May not like to be around if you only make him be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be most suited to assist with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that! How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds like you're just making an excuse for innocent to- but What are you saying? It will be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't. Just what do you think? Guys, guys! Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Innocent to decide how he'd like to contribute. I keep, like, staring at the word he as I'm still reading, being like, Oh yeah, the protagonist is a guy in this game. Not me. <laughs> Besides, he hasn't really got a chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said! I I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez. Can we just sell this already? Yeah. Innocent, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. <laughs> Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. <laughs> what the fuck do I choose? Jesus Christ. Oh. Holy moly, <laughs> guys, what do I choose? Ah, what do I choose? Holy cow, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. And I'm not going to look anything up on this game. I haven't looked anything up on this game, but I don't know. I don't want to spend it with Yuri because of my speculations on what this game is and spoilers that I've seen that are potentially for this game or not for this game. And Yuri, I mean, Natsuki is just... Natsuki, and I don't really like the Sundari type, so just being blatantly honest. And Monica! Ah! From what I've seen on thumbnails of Let's Players that's been playing this game, Monica definitely fucks shit up in the end. So... Sayori? But she's technically helping out with Monica's... I don't... I don't know... <laughs> uh, let's go with Sayori. I mean, if it's going to be anyone, then I prefer helping Sayori. I mean, we're already neighbors and... But Monica said, 
Monica says that Sawyer was helping her. Jeez. Do you really hate us that much? N no, no, no. Well, sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Damn it! Fuck. <sighs> Just think of the club, okay? D fuck you, Monica. Jeez, I don't know. <sighs> I don't, I like, uh, I want to pick Yuri. I really like Yuri, but I don't want to play out that ending for the first one. If that's even an ending that you can get. So I'm purposely saving her for a different playthrough to see if that's even a possibility. And I just don't want to pick Natsuki because I really don't like Sundarays. So I guess I'm picking Monica. Well, I guess I'm probably helping Monica. Yay, you picked me. Hold on a second. Yeah. Monica, you're the one who needs the least help out of all of us. <sighs> but I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already mostly suitable for one's person, but you already have Sayori as well. But Innocent was the one who... Uh, that doesn't matter. You're the one who scared him into picking you in the first place. You're the club president, Monica. You're supposed to make responsible decisions for the club. And Monica, you shouldn't let any ulterior motives interfere with this decision. Ulterior motives? But what are you saying, Yuri? In fact, it sounds like you guys are the one with ulterior motives. Excuse me? Otherwise, this wouldn't have been made in such a big deal in the first place. That's completely false, Monica. Yeah! We have a lot of work to do, you know? We won't do a good a job if you make us work alone. Uh, maybe that's true. Think of the club, Monica. If we want our event to succeed, then we need to appropriately distribute our resources. Um... Ah... Uh, so you're going to do the right thing, President? Okay, okay. I get it. <sighs> it's technically most logical for Innocent to help one of the you two. So why can't I just help both of them? There's two days in a weekend, right? So I go to one house one day, one house the other day. Boom, body being done. Or like half the day even. I don't fucking care. I guess that's what we'll do. I'm not fucking picking Yuri because I need to save her for later. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I want. Mm, I need to know. <laughs> okay, I'm leaving this here. Let me guys know who I should pick in the comments below. Let me know, please make this decision for me because I can't pick. If Yuri is the one that I'm thinking of in the Yandere ending where she gets all picky and evilly if you play the game again and you go with a different person on a different route, she becomes Yandere mode and kills everybody. If that's the case, I don't want to pick her first. That's the only thing. I don't know anything about Natsuki other than she likes anime. So I don't, I don't fucking know. I don't know. I don't know. This decision is just way out of my league. And it just makes me want to look up some walkthroughs or anything like that to be like, what's the endings? Will I fuck everything up if I pick one or the other? I don't know. <sighs> anyway, I'm leaving this here. My dog even agrees. She's making a lot of noise. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you had a wonderful time, and I hope to see you all so very soon. Peace out. Bye bye.